boom, boom, boom. All right. I'll just wait a little bit for people to filter in. Oh, it's loud. For me, anyway. All right. So this is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Let me know if you can hear me and if everything sounds okay. Um, this is just the intro cutscene uh, while I wait for people to filter in. Hi Puka! Hi Puka! This is just extremely, extremely cute opening sequence. Um, yay! Okay, good, good. Yeah, let me know how the audio balances if it needs any adjustment or anything. Um, okay, sweet, sweet, good, good, good. All right, then I'm just gonna go ahead and get started now that two people are here. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Because Puka, I, I really wanted you to see this game because I, I, I think you would deeply enjoy it. So you're, you're the, the guest of the hour here. So this starts off normally enough. Um, so this game was made at the very tail end of the Super Nintendo era, and it has arguably like the most advanced graphics. They don't do a whole lot of interesting things with like lighting or color very much, but the delineation of form and everything is really, really interesting in this game. Um, and, and it just looks really cool. So. And I like that it throws you into the game with no real information as to where to go or what to do. I've been watching a lot of randomizers and speedruns of this, so... Second, I'm just gonna pop this out. So I'm going to skip a tutorial later, so I'm going to talk about it now. There's a concept in this game called Timed Hits, where if you press the A button at the right time, then you do extra damage or you block an attack. For instance, I, I can block the Terrapin's attacks, and when I hit the A button just right, Mario does an extra punch. So that's going to be uh, almost everything you can do in this game has a timed hit attached to it. Yeah, exactly. This was uh, very influential on the Mario and Luigi games. Hello, Life Forcer. Welcome. <laughs> he doesn't need to leave his own castle. Also, this was the first time we ever get, like, a lot of characterization about Mario and Bowser. So, that's always fun. Bowser can't have Chipotle. He does Paleo. God, ima imagine working for Postmates and having to go through an entire, like, shitty castle.
<laughs> Owned. Yes, Bowser has a lot of really good uh, animations in this game. And character expressions. Honestly, like, everybody in this game has a lot of really good animations. Title drop. Epic. <laughs> yeah, it big. Welcome, Lane. Pipe house. Nice touch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Toad. Later on, there will be something under here, but not now. Oh, it would help if I saved the game. Bye, Toad. Oh, I have to talk to him. No. Okay. <laughs> like you always do. Uh, Dean. Okay. Oh, right. You have to go back to Bowser's Keep. Okay. See, I've been playing the randomizer of this lately where you automatically start at Mario's house and you skip the entire opening sequence and um, the world is entirely open, so sometimes I forget the correct order of things. Hello, big smithy gang. So Mario will occasionally do these, like, really funny little pantomimes. <laughs> oh, there's a cat here. There's a cat down below. It's Gutsman. Thank you. I know how to use items. You're just so well-traveled and experienced, Mario. Yes, Gutsman is soft and enormous. Oh, here's the best line. You better watch out, he knows about time pits. Gutsman, Puka loves you. Oh, Gutsman is behind me. Oh, actually, if I move... There, you can, you can kind of see him right there. He's nosing around. Hey, hey, Cass. Oh my god, yes. I know, I know, mushrooms. Thank you. Oh, 
I should probably not skip the the battles, or I'll, I'll do a couple of the battles. You don't- this game is a little on the easy side, um, but I, I, I'm kind of rushing a little bit because I want to show off, like, the, the Geno parts, but it's okay. Gino will be a little bit in the future anyway, so we may as well enjoy the time. Is he still back there? Oh, yes he is. You can see him. Big boy. Sorry it's so messy back there. We've been rearranging our cat. Not our cats. We've been rearranging our our living room for the um the window people who are coming tomorrow. Can I Ah, haha, -ha, I did it. Oh, the lights just flicker. That's kind of bad. Twitch automatically records it, I think. I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna kill you, DC. What? I accidentally erased my game. Uh, I... Because of my save and load on binds. So... I guess we're doing the game again. It's okay. I have. I'm sorry if I yes, you did, but it, it it's okay. It's Joker's trick. That's all right. I have I have a forward forward button. It's okay. I couldn't fit all my, um, hotkeys onto the, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna fix that so that I don't accidentally do that again. Okay, so now, now I can save state, but I can't accidentally load state. That's fine. Sorry about that. Although it's it's really not my fault. It's okay. It's okay, DC. I love you. Yes, I am extremely haunted. A whole 310 FPS. Thank you. 
here we are. Okay, once more with feeling. So something that I didn't mention before is that jump actually gets powered up the more you... 77, okay. That was a lot. Jump gets powered up the more you use it, so we're gonna want to upgrade it a little bit. Since we're gonna be kind of stuck with it for a while. Baby RPG for babies. Yeah, it's it's a nice, it's a very breezy game. It's um, it's very cute. I want the toad item. Why not? I'm a nice person. I'm a good person at heart. Thousand Year Door is pretty good. Um, I haven't played it in years and years, like a decade. Um, I don't even remember if I still have it. Watching Mario walk. Yeah, oh, nothing to see here. Sometimes you'll get flowers in the middle of battle that just do nice things for you. save my flower points. Oh, two attacks in a row. Well, that's nice. Alright. Got it. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. Uh, it's fine. I'll just fight the Goomba. Just fight the Goomba. Yes, thank you. That's perfect, actually, because we are all out of flowers. So this increases your flower points by one, and it also completely refills your jumble. Ugh! Nice try, Idort. <laughs> the, the, the director, the programmers were really good at figuring out exactly where, uh, where you would be. Five damage. Oh, nine damage. Actually, that's not very good for me. That's all right. I'm heal.
shrooms. Oh, all right, okay. So each level up in this game has like a correct answer for which bonus you should get. And it's generally the one that has the highest increase. Um, mm. I'll go for HP this time because Mario has some problems with survivability right now. Mario, you'd better be careful. He knows about timed hits. <laughs> you got my hammer angry. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. You can probably tell I'm having a very hard time um, dodging or uh, blocking some of the attacks. I got lucky with that one, but um, you can generally perfect block a l like around 60 to 75% of the attacks in this game. Uh, and so they'll just do zero damage, but I'm not quite good enough at that yet. So. Where did this hammer come from? My hammer now. Sometimes I'm just gonna, like, fast-forward the game out of habit, so... You never know. Give me that. Hama. Yes! I love watching numbers go up. Yes. Alright. So... Take, take a good look at this Mushroom Kingdom aesthetic, which is never, like, really seen again in any game ever. Um, let's see. What is there to check out here? Give me prizes. Give me shirt. Give me pants. Just just shirt and pants. Give me pick me up. Um, I only I have one honey syrup. That should be I'm gonna need more. <laughs> oh right. Uh let's see if I can do this. See, there are a lot of hidden chests in this game. Ugh. And there's another one, like, right over here. And you're supposed to stay on her head and try to get it. Ah. Ah! I got lucky! Yes, excellent. Also a nice little touch. And there's even an invisible person. So he's talking about some kind of horrible crocodile. Horrible cannibal crocodile. All right, who wants? Uh, yes, I got it. If you don't get this one, then it's it's uh, completely missable forever. <sighs> I always try and get that one. Yeah, I always try and get that hidden chest whenever I uh, whenever I play the game. Um, it's like the only really rare missable chest I know of. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. <laughs> so loud I almost pissed my pants. I 
love the the little siren noises he makes. Spores alive. A lot of the the weird terms in this game kind of entered my lexicon uh, when I was a kid. So um, my like my brother and I would say spores alive to each other all the time. Prizes, prizes. Give me prizes. Now, there's a, a little secret in here. I don't know if we can find it yet. Um, it might only be later on, but... Yeah, okay, here we are. Toadstools. Hmm? Free mushroom. Okay. Oh look, it's Puka. This is the Puka character. I mean, the Gino is also the Puka character, but Mallow is also deeply a Puka character. <laughs> Baby. He's baby. Mallow is the heart of this game. He's he's I, I didn't like him when I was a kid, but he's really grown on me now. He's just such a sweetheart. Normal frog. We help the small frog boy. Definitely a frog. It's normal for frogs. And we can equip him with pant. Pant. Oh. And we equip Mario with shirt. He wasn't wearing one before. All right. Now we have ally. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Just turns into a crocodile.
yeah. I really like that. Everybody just kind of like merges into Mario. All right. Croco. Croco was good. Oh, I didn't get the jump shoes. Um, hmm. That's alright. So the jump shoes let you use jump attacks on even spiky enemies. Normally you can't use jump attacks against them. But I think I'll be able to manage. Uh, is there anything interesting here? Not really. Oh, 3D isometric platforming, my favorite. And I believe there is... Uh, where is it? Ah, got it. So that, I believe, heals everybody. So that's good. I should definitely fight at least some stuff. If I'm not very good at perfect blocking, then I kind of have to um, grind a little bit. Little rubbery fellow. Yeah, th those classic Mario enemies, a giant, f a giant muscle frog. Uh, there, finally. Okay. Ooh, yes. All right. Very good. Sometimes you'll get an invincibility star, and a healing spell. Twenty-four to twenty-eight. Ooh! I mean, he's not really going to be attacking very much. DC, I can't hear it when you shout because I have headphones on. Um, I'm going to need that HP. random wherever he hides and which direction he faces, but that's okay.
normally Mario has fire at this point. Hmm. I might actually... I might actually have to reload, but probably not. Because if you if you have Mario's fire spell, there's like a unique event that happens in battle. Um. Oh! Wow, that was pretty strong, actually. Anyway, the unique event is that um, you use fire on Croco, and it says he's dousing a tail fire, so you get a free turn in battle. Wow, I just cannot block that. Hello, Gohyakuen. Oh, there we go. All right. Yes! Oh, that feels so good. Okay. Fight's taking forever. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, he's not dead yet. All right. Hmm, this is looking hairy, but I think he's... Okay. Finally! Alright. Six, fourteen to fifteen. Let's do attack. Warlet. Uh, Croco stole a wallet. 
Um, but yeah, it is it is kind of funny to think of it as, oh, hmm, that's bad. Unless it's not, unless this is normal. Look at these little guys, they're just having fun. selling that. That's too good. That's alright. So, this is bad, probably. Mysterious clowns. Mallow punching them with his little baby fists. Okay, so hmm, I guess you only have to really beat up this one. clowns. They're not clowns or shy guys. Funga. Foiled again. Can't even bounce. Wow. We truly live in a society. by Mario again. Hmm. All right. No. I, I, I use the good guy stuff. The good guy messages in this game. All 
Alright. Free heal. Yeah, Mario is a good guy. He's good peoples. <laughs> oh, a wake up pin, thank you. That's actually really helpful. Eh, we'll just leave that We were going to just leave that guy. Alright, now we're ready to face the boss. Alright, here we go. Now, there's actually a way to skip this boss, and I'm gonna try to do it, but I'm not gonna succeed. It's very, very difficult. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're, basically, you're supposed to be able to jump on one of the guy's heads and then, like, jump past it to talk to the chan chancellor. But, um... It's just, like, very, very hard to do unless, you like, you have a lot of practice. Wow. They're being very mean to everybody right now. see hmm. trying to figure out if there's a, a best solution for this fight yeah I really like this song it's a really cute song Thunderbolt should stun. Okay, yeah. Thunderbolt stuns Mac. Um, the thing about <laughs> AoEing the bodyguards, though, is that he'll just call them back. So. It's like, do you want to kill them all, or would you rather and then have to fight them again, or would you rather just leave one and then not worry about it, but... Mallow is my designated healer and item user. Yeah, I really like the um the VFX in this game. The the visual effects. 
They're really cute. Freebie? No. Yeah, Mac has a neat design. Uh, one thing I really like about this game is that it's really hard to tell what some of the sprites are. For instance, the bodyguards and the shysters. I, when I was a kid, I didn't think that those white things were their feet. I thought those were their hands and their lower bodies were just springs. So, interesting. Interesting stuff. No, uh, they're they're just little shy guys like on pogo sticks. They're not actually like half pogo stick homunculi. Good. Mario's not actually dead yet. We're out of honey syrup, though, so we're just gonna have to slog through the rest of this fight. Mushroom Kingdom brand honey syrup. Oh. Uh. This is gonna take so long. Oh, sweet. Ugh, I'll be fine. That sounds really good, Cass. So most magic attacks in this game are unblockable, which means it's not really a very good time whenever whenever that happens. I really hope I don't lose this fight. I've never lost it before, but um, there's a first time for everything. Syrups. Ugh, okay. That's alright. Yeah, Mac is like a, a little a little demon dude on on a on a pogo spring knife. Mac the knife is a reference to an old song.
Moonburger. Oh, Mac tonight. Oh, very good. I might actually not win this fight. as they call it in France. When you were in France, did you get any mock dough? I hear, I hear it's very tasty there. I hear they have better fries. Mock dough. Please don't jump. Please, oh God. This is driving me crazy. I would almost prefer it he just killed me. The nuggies look better, but taste the same. Ah, that, that's really funny for some reason. Monsters FP is all right. So I guess, hmm, that's interesting. Makas. Lane, where do you live? God, I've n this has never happened before. I've never been in this fight so long that the monster's FP just drains. And I'm out of mushrooms, so. I'm not wasting that Kara Kara Cola. I'm just gonna have him defend for the time being. Please don't use drain on Mallow. Oh! Oh! <laughs> did two damage! Okay. Alright. No, it would be cheaper to just use the pick-me-up. Alright, well. Now I have to use the pick-me-up. I'll use it in a, in a turn or two. God, trying to speedrun this game with, uh, through the first part of this game was a mistake. I should have just taken my time. Alright. What is it gonna take for this guy to die? Jesus Christ. I'm very sorry that you guys have to sit through this. It is a pain in the ass, I know. You know what, that that might be it. I wonder if... Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. The only thing I can do at this point is just wait for Mac to come down from his ivory tower. I'm glad you're having a good time, Puka. Sorry that it, this is taking so long. Finally! Oh, Jesus! Okay, now all we have to do is take care of these guys, and that's not going to be a problem at all. Yeah, you die from the soft, pillowy fists. Like that. At least I can't use Drain anymore, which is good. I can just block everything else.
Oh, that... That was kind of a lot of damage. And that was a really unfortunate low damage roll. Okay. Okay, come on. Be lucky. Okay. We got it. We got it, folks. After 1,000s of years, we finally beat him. Okay. Yeah, in retrospect, if I had reached level 4 before this, it would have been a lot easier. Um, ooh, that's a really good roll. We're going with HP. Yeah. Saves. Casually saves my game. Alright. Star piece, the first of many. Keep my new shirt, by the way. Thank you. It's is the Toei Animation mascot, Pero the cat, puss in boots. Star pieces. The fuck are those? There they go. Grandpa. Ah, he's so cavalier. I love him. It's true, his soft ally commands the arcane. It's true, though. Because I'm a normal human being, I was thinking the other day about, like, translating these characters into some kind of, like, Slayers-inspired magical system, where Mallow is, like, uses shamanistic magic, and I guess Gina would use, like, s kind of the summoning magic. Do I have... I have MP. Okay. HP. Okay, let's go shopping. Let's buy a million honey syrups. Mmm, cricket pie. That should be good. Um, tempted to sell that Cara Cara Cola, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it. It's useful. I don't think we're missing anything from here. Although we can't bug this guy playing a Game Boy. Oh, I've never seen him say this before. There, yeah. Okay, well, interesting. If you talk to him enough, I think he gives you the Game Boy, but I don't remember um, when in the game you have to do that or, like, what causes it. Hop on the beds. All right. 
right, so we're we're going. Okay, onwards. This area's a little bit of a pain. It gave me a little trouble when I was playing through this. Um for the first time in a while. But I remember what to do now, I think, so. That notice just tells you how to use pipes. Ah! Yeah, the peace signs are really cute. Ooh. Spooky. I should do some of these fights just to show them off. Also because... The last time I skipped a bunch of fights, it took me like half an hour to complete a single boss fight. But it's what the speedrunners do. No, I'm not a speedrunner. The rats are really cute. Also, there's- there's this thing, which is horrifying. This is why God invented Thunderbolt. Rat with gloves. Rat with big cartoony soft paws. 14 coins, not bad. Actually. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Well, I'll I'll probably die. Actually, these guys are really weak to jump attacks, so maybe I won't die. Not great, not great. 30? 42? Alright, okay. It's a good thing I saved state right before this. Yeah, this is what I get for beating up the rats. Yes, all right. Sweet, flower jar. And a true form pin. We're gonna need that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, his magic attack goes down a lot, actually. Um, okay, we'll put the true form pin on Mallow. The boss of this area actually, um, will turn you into scarecrows, so. Yeah, this is, I mean, everybody, I guess it is the Dark Souls of Mario RPGs in as much as it is, it gets kind of spooky. Oh, this just goes here. Okay, so let's try going... Wait, I want to fight the ghost. 
Go asked. The big boo. those rats dancing in a circle up there. Oh yeah, and then there's these these weird guys. Hobgoblin. water. Good for, good for killing ghosts. Clearly supposed to actually be holy water, probably. Ugh! You! Alright, well, that, that was nice. But ultimately fruitless. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was like, oh, Mallow's AoE will get it, but I think Mario has to attack it too. That's all right. These character designs are really good. The monster designs are done by Kurashima-san, who um, also did the designs for Moon. Yeah, the Moon guy, yeah. So. And the really funny thing is that he was tweeting about the monsters uh, in this game on Twitter, and he was like, oh, they're supposed to be 3D rendered, but I'm not very good with 3D, so I just made them pixels that look like they're 3D, so that's really fun. Mm. Yeah, why not? It's for the best. So, pure water dispels ghosts, but I'm not sure what actually counts as a ghost in this game. Like, if it's just big boos or if, like, there are other monsters that have a ghost modifier attached to them. So we're actually getting quite a bit of levels. That's really good, actually. Mm, I'd rather have the magic attack. Alright, okay. Okay, let me test out this pure water. I have four of them, so... Oh, it works. Well, I don't now I don't want to waste them. OK, 
Okay, this will take us back to the beginning of the dungeon, which we do not want, so let's not do that. Instead, let's just go this way. You can see the fish flopping around now. Oh, shoot. Could have gotten up there. Oh, I got a freebie. Sweet. So when you use items in this game, you have a 25% chance to get a freebie of it, which is basically, um, it puts it back in your inventory. So it's like you never used it all. There we go. All right, okay, level five. We should be okay to fight below him. The Vor boss. Hmm, big soft tongue. Moho. Oh, Velum is so cute. Belom is another instance of nobody really knows what the heck Belom actually is supposed to be. Um, but you can see he's got four eyes and it's kind of like a big dog. And four horns and he eats people. Yes. He does have four eyes. It is it is kind of upsetting. Um not sure whether jump or fire orb is better on this guy. I'll just stick with jump first. Yeah, Balom is really good. I, I feel a kinship with him because he's just hungry. He's kind of the ultros of this game, if you've ever played Final Fantasy VI. Okay, so Fire Orb doesn't actually do as much as jump does. Okay, that's fine. I love this. His little scarecrow chant. That's alright. Scarecrow is not the worst. It, it prevents you from attacking, but you can still use your specials. So there's really no reason to worry about it. But I put the true form pin on Mallow, so... Ah. Oh, that's not great. Hmm. I was like, Mallow can just use a honey syrup, but I forgot that Mallow gets et. There we go. Yes! All right. Beware the flood. Ominous last words. You know it would be really strange? If this, like, weird mini-boss that doesn't seem to have any connection to anything turns out to be worshipped as a god later. That would be really bizarre. Good thing that's not gonna happen. Tiny Mario. This Mario is so small. No. So, occasionally there are minigames. 
like this. And and it, it's very Splash Mountain like. Look, it's it's a dark ride. Puka, is this what your job is like? Now, these green coins are kind of hard to get, and they're pretty useful, so... There we go. I want that flower. Give me that flower. I just love all this cute character acting. It's really charming. I've actually never played Yoshi's Island, although I've I've heard it's very good. Um, I'm just not really into like for some reason I haven't ever really been into Yoshi's Island. I'm not entirely sure why. I started it once brief. See, you remember all that. I don't remember that. Also, apparently the lag on the stream is not very high, which is nice. We, oh, we got to touch Fuzzy get dizzy and never left. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now for the barrel jumping event. All right. Oh no, I missed out on coin. a fish there. No! I'm upset by that. the end of that minigame series. 44 coins. 60. Okay, so that was pointless, but that's okay, because we got a new weapon out of it. Mallow still doesn't have a weapon. Hmm. Useless boy. No, Mallow is really useful. I like him. Mallow's, Mallow's okay. We're drawing ever closer to my favorite character in the game. Super Mario! Super Mario is a legend in his own time. <laughs> He's normal. Old wise people can often give good advice. 
PG advisor. Let me slip into something more comfortable. Floats backwards. Get out of my house, boy. I love this. right? <laughs> you have to get out of here right now. The beaten stick. Good job, Mallow. You're moving up in the world. Okay, so... Um... There's the juice bar, which has, has some decent... It has an okay healing item for at this point in the game. But we can spend our frog coins here. are actually really good. But we're gonna need to save up for the Crystalline and the Power Blast. Although we'll, we'll run across some. Um, but yeah. There is one thing we can do right now and that is do this thing. Solami re do re do re. Gotta write this down, this is important. So la mi re do re do re I think the 
this is five. Play notes by jumping on. Okay, so that song we just got is a hint that we have to do stuff here. Let's see if I can remember it. Hmm. So love me red, do red, do red. Okay, wow, I got that really wrong. Um, don't read, don't read. I guess it's two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one. Let's see. This is just a fun little diversion. Let's see. Okay, so that's dough. One, two, three, four. Do, ti, la, ti. That's not, no, that's the wrong song. Uh, do, ti, la, so, fa. Do, ti, la. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, six. Do, three. Seven, six, one, three, four, three, four, three. Let's see if that actually is right. And if I don't get this right on this time, I'm just gonna skip this because it's not that important and also I'm I'm bitter. Um, let's see, I actually did this wrong. Okay, that's that's close. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna bother with it. It just gets you more stuff at the juice bar, and we can skip that for now. All right, Roseway. This place is kind of a pain. But there's prizes here, so that's nice. Oh, fuck this. I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't swear. The hell with this. All right, now we're doing big damage. Uh, 
Uh. Yeah, alright, okay. Let's see if I can stay on this. Saving. Okay. Loading. Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, got it. <sighs> it took me like 10 minutes to get that the other day when I was playing through this game. No, this is going the other way. There we go. These little guys, they run away. They run away! Wow! Now we're fighting regular shy guys, which for some reason are tougher than the shysters. Even though the shysters have the benefit of being on a pogo stick. Makes you think. Wart is canon. Wart is canon in my heart. Mario Brothers 2 was always my favorite of the three Mario, three first Mario games anyway. Because it was the only one I was actually decent at. Shy guys have an attack called Doom Reverb. That's a Beyblade. That's a Beyblade, DC. So I tutor, right, I, I tutor a, a child, a student of mine, and he, every time we meet up, he tells me I need to watch Invader Zim Enter the Florpus, and I haven't watched it yet, um, which I probably should watch at some point. Wow, that did 25 damages. Wow, rude. so I could murder him. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I never saw Invader or Zim when I was younger, so I, I would kind of not have any real attachment to it. So I kind of feel like I shouldn't, or I wouldn't get as much out of it. coins do I have? I have almost 200 coins. I think I'll be fine. Oh, this is good.
Group Adventures of Billy and Mandy was pretty alright. I grew up on... What did I grow up on? Cartoons in that vein. Um, I feel like I didn't watch very many. I mean, I guess like Animaniacs. But that that's not... I, did, I didn't watch much Cartoon Network stuff, but I, I watched some Nickelodeon stuff. Yeah, nothing, nothing bad with like them at all. It's just not really my thing. I I feel like if I had watched it at the right time in my life, I would have been really into it. Oh no! Somebody is shooting these people with arrows. I know how a scarecrow feels. I was turned into one. Oh no! Oh! Oh, here's a good child. <laughs> I can believe it. Funky stash. Mario, <laughs> Mario, you, you just died, so. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the best boy. He's so tiny. Mario's dead? I can't believe Mario's fucking dead. Here he is! Ah yes, this seems right. Yeah, literally, um, when when they were designing this character, they they were thinking of him as Pinocchio. So the Pinocchio connection is canon. Also, whenever I see his red hat ribbon, it just looks like a big red clown nose to me. So that's that's fun. Hello, Artemis. Bonk. Oh, trot, trot, trot. There he goes. My only enemy is stairway. Yeah, I like I like that because the way I've always seen Gino is the ribbon is the clown nose, and his actual nose is like a or maybe it's his mouth, it's hard to tell. It's like a, a funky, kind of petulant, frowny mouth. And it's just really cute. Uh-oh. Oh hey, I can walk around during the text. I can just walk away. Can I examine these? Alright, let's go shopping. Shopping! 
Toy Store. More honey syrup. More pick me up. Um, one more mushroom just to be safe. And thick shirt and thick pants. Uh, I mean, fear is not a. I think fear also fearless pin also increases your stats. Um, but I kind of don't want to spend that much money on it. It also fear halves your attack, so that's not good. Um, I guess I'll get one and put it on Mario. Thick pants. Aha! Prizes! But how do we get that? Solution. Santa Claus. There we go. Also, a fun thing you can do here is help this guy get into his house by pressing that. And you'll notice I didn't take these treasure chests. That's because um, he tells you a secret if you don't. Left, left, straight, right, in that order. Now, prizes. <laughs> I think maybe the prizes change based on whether or not you, um... <laughs> yeah, I jump, jump on that huge button all the time. Okay, onwards. This is probably the most famous song from this game. Bloom. Mushrooms. Mushroom. Oh no! It's an evil mushroom. Time to kill it. You do. You, you get a frog coin for bouncing on the wigglers enough times, but I've never really been able to do it. It is, it is BDSM Donkey Kong. Hmm, that's a lot of damage. Got me again. Oh, he turned into mushroom. Turning into a mushroom means you can't do anything, but you passively regenerate HP each turn. So it's it's a pretty bad status effect. Um, but it's also very cute, and I appreciate that. My god, bees. Ah, that stings. I'm 
I might actually... Hmm, I'll save before I fight the boss of this area, but I hope I'll be okay with two pick-me-ups. These are all red herrings, basically. The only one of these we actually care about is this one. There aren't even any treasure chests or anything in them, which is a pain. I think maybe there's like one treasure chest, but it's like not even worth it. They have many leg. Wiggly. I don't know how I'm not gonna count the wiggler legs. You count the wiggler legs. Some more. He ate Wonka's candy. Yeah, when you get poisoned, you turn blue. It's normal. Oh! Mashroom. Ah, my favorite of the bonus flowers. Close are we to another level? Let's find out. Uh... Ooh, very close, actually. Sweet. <laughs> this is a good RPG, especially for somebody who, like, doesn't for people who don't play many RPGs. Um, because one, you can see all the enemies. The encounters aren't random. Two, you can... You're actually rather engaged in battle because uh, because of the timed hits. It's not just passively pressing A over and over again. It's carefully pressing A over and over again. Um, but also, it's like not super hard and it's, it's enjoyable. Oh, he turned. All right. Psychopath. That lets us look at enemy HP and MP. Let's go with attack. Now that he has a weapon to his name. Oh my god. No! Please use it on Mallow. Ugh, what a pain. At least he is regenerating HP. There we go. Super, super jump. 38 to 40, 52 to 55. Well, let's go with attack. I can never do the 100 super jump thing. There are people who've like memorized how to do it because after you get past 15 jumps, um, 
it goes down to like a three frame window of time where you have to press the A button. And that's. That is unreasonable to expect people to do. Okay. Second part. Um. We could get prizes. Let's follow Gino later. Left, left, straight, right. And there should be prizes in here. Hello, pigeon rat. Ha ha. Sweet. Delicious. Okay. This way. And this way. And... Uh, I think you think it's this way. This way. And this way. Okay, here we go. This is the boss fight. Bowyer. I can't believe Bruce Lee canonically exists in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, this this localization is really interesting. Here he is. I serve a higher authority. Ah, Mallow. All right, yes, the boy. Although, uh, I, I call him boy, but uh, Gino is actually like the most mature member of the group, so he's, he's the only like, he's the only one who actually knows anything. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, Bowyer is is very good, and so is so is Gino. Let's 
let's see. So Gino's deal is that he's a glass cannon. He um he can output a lot of damage up to maximum damage actually if you use one of his attacks but he also takes a lot of damage so you have to be gentle with him he is just at all he's not just at all Gotta keep him topped up. Yeah, see, he takes massive amounts of damage, actually. But that's okay. That did 14 damage even with blocking. Good lord. Look at his little round feet. Bowyer's little round feet. I just I just want to appreciate that for a second. Oh good, I have more honey syrup. Syrup. flowers. You know I'm more than just a doll, don't you? He's an angel. He's a puppet an angel puppet.
So in the Japanese version, instead of um, heart, music, note, exclamation point, question mark, um, they use a certain set of symbols that isn't used anywhere else in the game to kind of symbolize that it's a star language. So that's, that's kind of neat. I kind of wish they kept that. Grab that star. There's a little guy just hanging out in the corner. Gino is amazing. I'm so glad you folks like him. He's my utter favorite. Gino has big knights energy, like knights from Nights into Dreams. The same, like, a, a gender, um, dubious gendered ethereal puppet jester creature. Things are looking up. Yeah, I also wish he was in Smash. I think he's gonna get in, but don't quote me on that. I think because there's gonna be a, a season two of the DLC, I feel like he has a real chance. Because Sakurai's wanted him in ever since, like, Smash Brothers Brawl or something. Okay, so now we can go back to Rose Town for a really cute cutscene. Mascot costume. Yeah, this, this entire scene is very puka. Yeah, the pantomime scenes are one of the best parts of the game. Mario needs all the help he can get! <laughs> Mario, please, he's a child! Free weapon. This is a cute line. This is a cute line. Also, this is a very good line. Seventy two. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can get now that we're here. I believe there's not a whole lot else to do in town. Mm. 
Yeah, I can slap a wake up pin on him. Okay, onwards. Can't believe we got Gino and thereby beat the game. Okay, show's over, folks. No, we'll keep going a little longer. Uh, Pipe Vault will take us to an optional side area, but we don't really need to do that yet, so let's skip it. Oh, Moleville is fun. Look at the little moles with their big claws. Yeah, we have- we're fine for HP right now. Oh! I'd, um... I don't remember if the work pants are better than the others, but I think they're comparable. Oh, mid mushroom, we're gonna. Oh, actually, I want the maple syrup. But first, first, first. Mega pants. Mega cape. Let's see. Oh, right. Punch glove. Symbols. Already have the finger shot. Just sell these. I think that's good. So, we know that there's a little baby, some little babies trapped in the mine. Oh, the big man himself. do is I'm going to get past Moleville and I'm going to call it a night. So. Mario were here. Yes! Mario always does the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, mole friends. A new and interesting selection of enemies. So Gino has some real heft to him. Oh, wow. Mario is very strong now. And I, I really like that um, Mallow attacks with uh, symbols. Finger guns. Uh, let's see if Thunderbolt takes this guy down a peg. Okay, there we go.
I do not know what item he's talking about. Also, this doesn't seem to go anywhere? Hmm. Oh, this is fun. Mario, why did you do that? Give me my money. So if you go this way, this is... Um, hmm. There's like an exit here that you can't quite use just yet. Yeah, he, he de definitely does have a very sail-like appearance to him. I think Kurashima also worked on um, Mario and Luigi RPG, uh, Superstar Saga. So, if you notice um, some similarities between, like, some of the Bean Bean Kingdom people and some of the uh, monster designs in this game, then monster and character designs, then you might notice that. Yeah, we can't do anything here just yet, but that's okay. I wonder what happens if I do this again? Oh, okay. Let's see how close Gino is to a level. He could use one. 14, 38, and 45. Okay. Magmite. Yeah, they do they do look they do look injured. Um, I'll heal them in a bit. about to fight a boss anyway so we'll get a little experience okay so now this creates like a little circuit there we go that attack is unblockable and very unfortunate
orb. Shit out of him, I guess. And then he takes all your equipment. I forgot about that. Or he takes all your inventory. Oh, that's bad. Uh, that's actually really bad. I should have healed up. I forgot he did that. Hmm. This stinks. Better get real good with my blocking. Unblockable attack? Seems really strong. Goodbye, Gino. stopping point so I'm gonna stop here and next time I play we will uh, give Croco his just desserts and then save the kids so I will see you then goodbye everybody you have a good evening thank you for joining in tuning in also so thank you have a good night everybody